You guys know I love my Toyota Tacoma for how versatile it is. I mean, from camping, to hauling my off-road gear, to a trail, to being able to safely take me to work every weekday, this truck is awesome. It rides comfortable on road while also being able to handle the desert terrain, and that's all thanks to my Fox 2.5 Performance Elite Series shocks. If you've been around the channel before, you probably already know this, but I absolutely love my Fox shocks, and to say I'm obsessed is probably an understatement. But after learning more and more about suspension the longer I've owned my truck, I was curious to see if getting my shocks professionally tuned could really make a difference in dialing in my ride and getting the most out of my suspension. Now for the Toyota Tacoma, you can't really go to Fox or for the most part the manufacturer of your shock to basically get them tuned to your specific vehicle setup and your driving style, but there is a place near me I've been hearing more and more about actually a lot from you guys here on my channel to basically get a custom tune done, so I'm really curious, so I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And in this video, we are going to dive all into my experience of getting my shocks tuned for the first time. I'm gonna show you what we did to my shocks, and at the end, I'll talk about whether this whole process was worth it or not for me. Today I'm in my hometown of San Diego at AccuTune Off-Road and you guys, these guys are suspension professionals and they're going to take a look at my truck, they're going to do some measurements and we're going to do a test drive and they're basically going to put together a tune for my truck. I think this video is going to be really interesting for a lot of you guys out there because I get a lot of comments here on my YouTube channel about aftermarket shocks for the Toyota Tacoma and AccuTune Off-Road here sells kits for aftermarket shocks but what's different about them is they build specific tunes based on your driving style and the weight you're carrying in your vehicle. So it's going to be a fun one so let's go. Now I've been talking a lot about tunes, and if you're not an expert like me, you might be wondering what a shock tune is in the first place. I got a chance to talk to Ryan, who is the owner of AccuTune and a seasoned suspension expert to learn more about that and see what his shop has to offer. So Ryan, I'm yeah. curious, what exactly is a shock tuner? What does it mean to get your shocks tuned? Yeah, so we focus on looking at how the vehicle's riding and driving over a variety of different terrain take the shocks apart and make changes based on what we experienced and it's just an iterative process you just do over and over and over again right. um, until you kind of achieve you know as good as that vehicle can be so for these tunes accutune uses your vehicle weight motion ratio up travel along with their equations as well as your own terrain and driving styles to apply valving techniques to tune your shocks the weight aspect we tailor every tune for the weight. And then for the driving style aspect, we have multiple different tunes. So most people daily driving want our adventure tune. It's the softest, it's made for daily driving, it's good for overlanding. And then our next tune up is the dual sport tune. And the dual sport tune is really tailored for someone who still drives on the street, but maybe that's not very, the ride quality on road is not very important. But when they get off road, they want to drive really aggressively. Yeah. And so if you want to go out and you know, hit the biggest whoops as hard as you can. That's the dual sport tune. And then we have a tune even stiffer than that, um, which is our trail tune. But that's, it's really meant for off-road only. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that in a car that you're gonna drive on the street. Yeah, wow, it really isn't yeah. one size fits all. These things really need to be customized. So it's pretty cool that there's such a wide variety of different tunes you can do based on the vehicle weight and the driving style. Yep, yep, that's what makes it all work. Yeah, cool.
After talking about shock tunes at the shop, it was time for an initial test drive to give the AccuTune guys an idea of what adjustments they needed to make on my shocks and for me to compare my Tacoma with AccuTune's Tacoma, which actually had the same set of shocks as mine, but theirs were tuned and mine were not at this point. All right, so right now we're in my Tacoma. We haven't done anything to our shocks yet. We're gonna just basically do a test drive and I'm gonna explain to him kind of what I feel and he's also riding in my truck to get an idea kind of of how we can best tune my shocks to dial my ride. Okay, so can you explain to me what you kind of feel as we're going? over these bumps? Yeah, I mean, it, in some regards, it, it feels pretty soft, um, especially in the front. On these bumps, that feels nice, but on bigger bumps, it could lead to bottoming out. Sure. And then the rear feels pretty stiff. Hopefully we can make the front kind of firmer, but still, still comfortable in the rear. Hopefully we can improve the, the comfort. Yeah. Um, and improve, like you can really feel all the little choppy stuff and hopefully we can make it just sail over the little choppy stuff. Yeah. After Ryan assessed my ride, I got into AccuTune's Tacoma to see how it felt. Much better I, I it is can, the little stuff. Do you notice that I'm already like going faster than yeah. I was in my truck because of how it felt? Holy wow. God. <laughs> yeah, so I you can just kind of see how it's like how it's literally softer and stiffer at the same time. Yeah, that's it's a really hard thing to describe, but it's yeah. a very easy thing to experience and feel. Yeah. The goal is that yours will do the same sure. thing as this. It's just gonna be um, a little more difficult in the rear, like you were saying, just because of my added weight. Yep. And also lack of there of lift. Yeah. It really on yours the weight's not an issue, it's really just that it resulted in very little up travel and that'll sure. be the hardest part. It's just finding the balance. difference huge difference I didn't even like <laughs> well I naturally what happened was I naturally started just going faster because it just felt soaked it so, yeah it's it soaked everything up yeah driving the two side by side and it's really interesting because it's the same set of shocks essentially that was very surprising in a good way now I'm, I'm <laughs> even more excited Guys, I'm not kidding when I say that I was shocked at the difference. When we made it back to the shop, it was time to get those measurements so that AccuTune could make my ride feel a little more like theirs. So they weighed my Tacoma, which ended up being almost 5,000 pounds, about 700 pounds more than the curb weight. So I've got some heavy stuff on my truck. You have sliders, you've got uh, a bumper up front, you've got a deck system in the back. So we gotta take that into account first. Then they measured the up travel on all the shocks and started taking them off my truck. We decided more or less on the adventure tune since I daily drive my truck but also take it out to the desert sometimes. But based on the minimal up travel in the rear of my truck because of all the weight in my bed, Ryan let me know that they were going to do their best to really dial those in, but it could take a few rounds of testing. When the front shocks were off, Matt, one of the techs, guided me through the whole process of how to take apart my shocks for tuning. Line up the holes with the spanner wrench. Okay. And then you should be able to just like lightly tap the edge of this. Okay. Oh, oh, there yeah, there you go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Unscrew it. And then you can use like one of these little guys. Okay. Just, it's uh, like a tire, you're just deflating it. Yeah. Yep. Keep going until it stops. And then you can use this. Like I said, I kind of use this as like a service and then just push down. Okay. It shouldn't take much effort. And then, yep. Yep. And then once that's out, you can finish learning that cap off. 
Okay. I'll look for the open end of that C clip and then I'll kind of just fish it oh. out. When it was time for me to remove the piston rod, I'm not gonna lie, I struggled pretty hard. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, I am? Yeah. There you go. Oh my hey, gosh. Hey. Did you hear that? I almost quit and then he gave me a little motivation and I. <laughs> I like, it's just like the gym. Okay. Tilt it sideways, there's probably some flip. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I just see. Just like that. And then you can kind of just Whoa. let it run off a little bit. Okay. And then um, <laughs> as soon as you think you're good, you're. Uh, so this is the piston rod assembly, which is designed to flow oil through compression and rebound ports. This is where AccuTune's valving techniques are about to be applied to improve my ride quality. These are the ports that the oil flows through. The holes kind of go through, so the oil would come oh, up I through see. here and make the discs bend and come out. And then on compression, they go through these ports and go down and make the other disc bend. I was learning all of this for the first time myself and it's pretty crazy how much the piston design and shock valving can dramatically affect the way my Tacoma rides. And what's even crazier to me is how even though these valve discs are all so thin, their differences in measurement can really make all the difference. Wow, oh, this is so precise. It's 10. Uh, thousands of an inch. So they come in like Was six, like 8, eight or something? 10, 12, 15, and 20. Okay, so this one's like a little bit bigger. Yep. Interesting. This is like 16 thousandths of an inch. After I played around with the valve discs, Ryan applied new valving to my front shocks while Mike gave me a tour of the shop. Recognize these things? Those are the, oh, yeah, DSC. Yeah. Yep, load speed, gold, and orange. So if one were to get damaged or someone wants a color change, you can do that. Color I think, I don't know what's hitting my front one, but one of my ones started chipping for some reason. I don't, I don't know. These are a little like sharp a and they're pretty yeah. hard to turn. It was, it was the low speed knob. These scratches may have happened because, like, this is mounted upside down. So this is facing the ground. Yeah. So while off-roading, sand and kicked up. Maybe, yeah. yeah. It sand blasted it. Right? It shouldn't, I mean, it still works yeah. fine. It still works 100% okay. It's got its uh, patina. Right? It shows you actually use it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is a king piston. Uh-huh. So like normally you saw how the shims sit flat. Yeah. Well, adding oh. this piece on makes it like a divot. This makes the piston digressive versus the linear. Yeah. So this piston in particular, we never use. That's why you will see many of them around. We will swap it out to the other piston yeah. to make it linear and a progressive valve. When we were done looking around, Ryan was finishing up putting my shocks back together with my new custom tune, and then it was time to do the rear shocks, of course. Thankfully, since I already went through the process with the fronts, it was a little more straightforward my second time around. Push down on this. Okay. Until this is like a little bit below the top of the surface. There you go. Cool. And just catch that. Cool. Yep. What's really cool about AccuTune Off-Road is that all of this revalving and everything you're seeing here is what they do for free if you purchase your Fox or King shocks through them. On their website, you specify vehicle specs like the weight you've added and how you plan to drive and they'll open up your brand new shocks and do what they're doing for my shocks here, which I have to say, and this is completely unbiased and this isn't a sponsored video, but this is a fantastic deal. 
as Ryan revalved my rear shocks, Mike gave me some more fun facts about my Fox shocks. So like this is your bumper safety net on sure. compression, and that's for rebound the inside. So yeah, so like some of the King shocks or some, some shocks in general will just be metal on metal. Yeah. So if you do have your coilovers lifted too tall yeah. and you're topping out a lot, yeah. it's gonna be like clink, yeah. clink, clink. Well, that's gonna, just a little bit of rubber is gonna help. And also, if you want to learn more about Fox versus King shocks, AccuTune has some great comparison articles since, after all, they know the ins and outs of both of these shocks. Literally. After the revalve, I was so excited to get my shocks back on my truck and take it on another test drive. The first test was running it over a dip in the parking lot and feeling the difference. Yeah, I think that was a lot better than before. Then it was time to take my truck back on that dirt road, now with my newly tuned shocks to get my final reaction. So we're doing a test drive on the exact same road now that the shocks are retuned, and let's see how they feel. I can already tell you they are a lot better. I am going faster than before, but I think I'm kind of like in their truck. I just naturally started going faster because I felt more comfortable. So there's a lot of these like decent sized holes and bumps and stuff, and I feel like I'm not bottoming out which is a nice feeling. It's pretty insane to me that I'm on the same set of shocks that I was this morning. You know what it feels like? It feels like we're almost on a completely different road. We're not on the same road. It almost feels like the road got like a little more paved. That's how I would describe it. And I definitely feel like I'm driving with a lot more confidence. I also figured my Foxes have dual speed compression adjusters and I didn't play around with those yet. My adjusters are still all the way open, so it'll be an even bigger improvement when I'm on pavement like this or in the desert and I have them fully closed up. Overall, I was impressed by my truck's ride quality because I thought it was already pretty solid, but with AccuTune's work, I now am really getting the most out of these Fox shocks. I hope you guys liked this video. This was definitely a really fun one, one where I learned a ton. Operating is a huge hobby of mine, and I think just understanding this topic a little more is very, very important. Anyways, I do want to say a huge, huge thank you to AccuTune for A, getting my truck dialed, of course, and B, letting me film around the shop. Thanks to Mike, Matt, and Ryan for all your guys' help on this project. Before this whole experience, I honestly have to say that I was kind of unsure. I thought there would be a difference, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be noticeable to me per se, because I'm not necessarily an expert, but you know, I drive this thing every day, so I know what feels good and what doesn't feel good. So this is something I highly, highly recommend if you're looking into getting aftermarket suspension, specifically King or Fox shocks. Again, if you buy through AccuTune, this is something they do for free, so I really suggest going this route. That's really all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you guys want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in there in real time, and while I was at AccuTune, I was posting all of my stories which was a really fun time so be sure to follow on there if you're interested but other than that thank you so so much for watching and I hope I'll see it in the next video bye guys <laughs>